in this video we are gonna write Haskell variation of the traditional hangman word guessing game. First let's check what this program is supposed to do. It asks a word for player to guess. Let's give it, give it some word. Notice that while I was write, writing the word, uh, it's not showing it on screen. Then number of guesses player has, let's give it five, and then uh, the game starts. Uh, notice the length of the word is shown with those uh, dashes, and once we make a guess, something, it, it matches the words, uh, I mean the letters we had in, in our uh, guess. Uh, let's try again. And now, once, once we have an idea what it could be, we guess the word and the game ends. Also, if you run out of guesses, the game will also end. Before writing one possible solution for this exercise, I will break this problem into six smaller steps. By solving all of these small steps, we will end up getting the complete solution. And finally, let's write one possible solution for this exercise. So the first step is to write a function that takes the word player needs to guess. So we will create a function get word. And now we wanna read a string from the command line, but because we read it from the command line, it's not pure. This is why it has to be a type of IO string. H set echo is, is a function which you can use to hide a command line output. So this is uh, how we hide the word from the player. Then we read the word. And now, now that the word is read, read we, we can uh, return the echo for the command line. put char a just a function to put a new line new line character in this case uh, notice that when we write a character we can't use double quotes we we have to use those single quotes now why can't we just type word to to return it is that uh, now the word is read as a string and because we cannot return a pure function, we have to wrap this string around IO structure. I think it's called wrapping it inside IO monad, and that's how we can uh, return it. This H set echo is showing us error, which is because we need to import some additional libraries. Like this. Now, uh, our step one is complete. And step two, write a function that takes number of guesses that player has. This is pretty much the same, even shorter than the step one, but there is one, one thing to notice. Now this return type is integer, but once again, because it's not pure, it has to be IO integer. So far it's very trivial, and now once again we have to use this return keyword to wrap our return value into IO monad. We can't just do it, do it like this because now it, it complains that we are attempting to return 
IO type string, we actually have to, because get line, it reads string, we, we will have to uh, cast it to an integer. And in Haskell, you can do it like this. There was a typo. Now step two should be ready. In step three, we will write a function that stops the game if the player has no guesses left. This will take integer and returns empty IO object. And the integer it takes is of course uh, the number of guesses. We have two different outcomes, so we can use two gates to accomplish this. The first outcome is number of guesses is greater than zero. Here notice that we can't just append integer to this uh, string directly. We have to use this show function uh, to make it happen. And the second case, second case, and then use this existing existing library exit with and exit success function. And now we, of course, we will have to import this library for it to work. This is not it. From system.exit library, we need exit code and from exit code, exit success. And then we will also need exit with. Okay, so uh, I believe that was step three. Now let's continue with, continue to the step four. Write a function that matches the word and guess. So this is pretty much the logic of our game. Matching function takes two strings and returns a string. Uh, strings are the word and the guess. Now in, in this variation of hangman game, I'm not sure if it's the official variation, but anyways, I, I found this uh, pretty straightforward way to do this uh, with list comprehension. Like this, I believe this, it might have been in stack overflow. But anyways, what it does, uh, it, it's going to get every letter of the actual word, uh, check them one by one. And if that letter is found from the guess, then it's going to, uh, I mean, if that character is found from the guess, then it appends the character uh, to this list. And if it's not found, it appends this uh, character noting not found. That was step four. Now let's go to the step five. Using uh, steps we we already did, gameplay loop, which runs until, until the game ends. So uh, our game, gameplay loop takes the word and number of guesses and returns empty IO object. First thing we want to do within this loop is to check if we have any guesses left. Just by using the function we already created. And if the game, game doesn't exit, we take another guess. And then we will check if, if the guess matches the word. If it 
does, then we, we just print, you guessed it, and the game ends. Uh, otherwise, we will go back to, we, we will do the matching and go back to the gameplay loop. We use the match function, which we already created, print our match. And the, this is the end of the loop, then we we will recursively call our play function again with the same word, but number of guesses has to be one less. So that's the uh, gameplay loop. Now we just have to create the main function in step six. The main function takes no parameters, it's just an IO, IO object. Uh, the first thing to do is to uh, get the word to guess, which we already defined in step one. Then we will take number of guesses. Then we wanna uh, output some message. Here we are using this prelude replicate function to write those mi minus characters indicating the length of the word. Oh, I think we're missing something maybe. I have now tried for about five minutes to find out what's causing this parse error so it got fixed when I just re when I just deleted this main function and wrote it again so uh, let's try that once more now I just wrote it again and there's no error Haskell is so fun when, when it gives those parse errors and doesn't even show where the possible problem is. But anyways, the game should be now ready. Let's check if it works. And uh, let's check the case if I run out of guesses. One guess. Yeah, it, it gives the game over. And this exception message at the end, it's only showing because we are using GHCI. If we actually compiled this program into .exe file, then it would only show that game over. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was useful and see you in the next one.